Rejoice game fans everywhere! Official announcements have revealed that The Last of Us is being made into a TV show, and today we have all the juiciest details for you. Hold on tight as we take a deep dive into absolutely everything we know so far, from cast details to release dates. No time to waste! Let's get started! When did we first hear about The Last of Us being made into a TV series? Well, the first official announcement came way back in March 2020. HBO had picked up the idea, with the ball rolling enough for the project to be revealed to the hungrily awaiting public. However, as it did with a lot of creative projects, COVID-19 managed to put a stop to any development. Filming and generally getting together to create was put on hold, and the project was delayed. However, this is not the first time that the successful game franchise has been attempted to be made into other media by studios. Two attempts at making movies have happened and failed between 2013 and now. The first of these was a feature film written by the same brains behind the game itself, Neil Druckmann and and Sam Raimi. This film ended up being in development for so long that nothing ever came of it, and the project unfortunately ended up being shelved. There was also talks of a short film which was going to be animated, which would have brought a cool comic book style to the already aesthetically pleasing game graphics. However, Sony cancelled the project before it ever really got off the ground. Fortunately, some of the ideas for both of these projects got used in The Last of Us Part 2, and even more of them will be used in the new upcoming TV series. What is the plot of The Last of us TV series going to be about. So far, we expect that The Last of Us TV show is going to go over the events in the first game. Obviously, this takes place in a post-apocalyptic version of our real-life society, offering a bleak and terrifying view into a reality that is too close to our own. Joel and Ellie are the shining stars of the cast, and the game focuses mainly on how they navigate this harsh and dangerous world. The TV series is likely going to follow this plot, as the teaser images that we have seen heavily feature Joel in them. The official synopsis that we have been given so far is as follows. The story takes place 20 years after modern civilization has been destroyed. Joel, a hardened survivor, is hired to smuggle Ellie, a 14-year-old girl out of an oppressive quarantine zone. What starts as a small job soon becomes a brutal, heartbreaking journey as they both must traverse across the U.S. and depend on each other for survival. This pretty much confirms that the first season is going to be covering the plot of the game pretty closely, and perhaps the events leading up to the last Last of Us Part 2. It's unknown whether or not the plot of the sequel is going to be covered in much detail, or whether they will leave that as an opening for a potential second season. Some fans think that the end of the season might reveal some plot points that happen between the two games that have gone so far uncovered. Who can we expect to see in the new TV show? Has the cast info been released yet? Luckily for us, some of the cast choices have been revealed. And this is super exciting, as some of these names are seriously impressive. Let's take a look. First off, we're getting the the lead role filled by Pedro Pascal. He is, of course, the leading man in The Mandalorian, in which he gives an incredible performance where he manages to be emotive and stoic at the same time. We're hoping that some of his signature dry wit will make an appearance here too, and Joel seems like a role he will really be able to sink his teeth into. Pedro's heartwarming performance as the geek world's beloved space dad has made fans super excited to see what he's going to do with Joel, who has also taken on the fatherly role to Ellie. Speaking of Ellie, who is going to be playing her? Bella Ramsey has been given the job, and she is more than ready to take on the leading lady role. Her awe-inspiring performance in Game of Thrones has left fans desperate to see more of her, and they're going to be getting their wish for sure. We're going to be seeing Gabrielle Luna, who has appeared in the most recent Terminator movie, Dark Fate, and also True Detective. He'll be playing Joel's younger brother, Tommy. Merle Dandridge is going to be reprising her role as Marlene, the leader of the Fireflies. This is a very exciting one for fans of the game, as Merle does all the voice work for Marlene in the original video games. Another voice actor from the game series, Jeffrey Pierce, is going to be playing a role as well, although it's not the same one from the games. He'll be playing a character called Perry, who has been made especially for the new TV show. As of pretty recently, Anna Torov has been revealed as playing Tess. She helps Joel and Ellie in their mission to reach the Fireflies, so we can expect her to be playing quite a pivotal role. At the very least, she is sure to be in multiple episodes as she supports Joel and Ellie on their journey. Do we have a release date for the new series of The Last of Us? Sadly, at the moment, we do not have a definite release date. However, it is possible for us to have a rough estimate of what we can expect. 
Fortunately, seeing as this project has been in the pipeline for quite some time, there are bound to be tons of ideas for the creators to choose from. Plus, with the very fleshed out world of the video game, there is already a lot of structure in place for the storyline and visual style that they need to come up with. Fans are thrilled to find out that a photo from on set has been officially released. The shot is of Joel and Ellie from the back looking over a huge, gorgeous open expanse. It really shows off the scale of what the show is going to be working with. The photo not only lets fans know what to expect from the visuals of the show, but prove to all of us that filming has definitely started. With filming being started in 2021, we can expect that to be wrapped up and post-production to be finished sometime in 2022. This idea is given a little more credit as one of the directors, Kantamir Balagov, posted to his Instagram page that the project is listed for 2022. We can't be sure yet or whether or not this is totally official, as he could just be saying this for his personal page, but it seems about right. By the time filming is wrapped up and post-production is done and dusted, it could be later on in the year that we see the first episodes. How many episodes are going to be in the series? Officially, we can look forward to 10 full-length episodes in The Last of Us TV show. Some fans were a little worried that there might not be enough material in the games to stretch over 10 episodes, but creator Craig Mazin has put her minds at ease. He revealed that the show is likely to pad out the storylines in the games, going into more detail to plot points that might only be touched upon in the original material, he said. In this case, I'm doing it with Neil Druckmann, and so the chances that we're making are designed to fill things out and expand, not to undo, but rather to enhance. He also told us that there are going to be some new scenes, one in particular he's very excited about, that is sure to wow the fans. We can't wait to find out what it is. Hopefully, we won't have to wait too long. Apart from the officially released photo, are there any behind-the-scenes sneak peeks we can take a look at? Fortunately for fans, loads of the cast and crew really love showing fans of the game what is going on behind the scenes. Plus, fans have found film locations, are sharing all the details with the rest of us. So far, we've been able to take a look at the set in Calgary that's been built, and it looks amazing. The building fronts look like they've been ripped directly from the game, and fans shared videos of a horse behind led down the solitary snowy street. Literal chills, one fan wrote on Twitter. We are so excited. There have also been some selfies from behind the scenes. A popular one on Instagram is from Gabriel Luna, showing him smiling at a car with his co-stars Pedro Pascal and Nico Parker. Fans are trying to figure out which scene was being filmed on that day, and most popular are leaning towards the opening sequence. We will get the Kleenex ready. Thanks for watching today, guys. That is all the info we have for you so far, and we'll keep you updated as more exciting details get released. Leave a like down below, and we'll see you soon.